The year is 2050. Humankind have bases on the moon and Mars, and they're in need of resources, but luckily, down to earth space truckers are here to bring the goods. This video is sponsored by MT Worlds and their upcoming game, Interstellar Transport Company. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a game called Interstellar Transport Company. This is a small game um, that's currently in alpha. I should start by saying that. So there is, a, for, of course, a lot of things that will be uh, that will be changed. Um, I think it's an early access. I think it's actually early access. Um, by the way, we're having a look at the game today. It's a small uh, management space game and is actually really, really fun. I've been playing it for the last couple of days and I really, really enjoyed it. So that's why we're going to take a look at it today. Um, we play as a company. I created the company Down to Earth Space Truckers. And uh, our job is to supply the, uh, the colonies with the material and also to make sure to bring back... Um, resources to Earth from these colonies. So um, we got to do a few things before we start. Uh, for instance, I have found that starting early on building a local office is a very, very good idea because having a local office at the planets mean that they like you better. And if they, if they like your company better, if they like your company, they will allow you to bring more goods, they will sell you more goods, and uh, you will get other benefits as well. So I'm just going to do this on our current colonies. We have a limited amount of credits, um, but that's okay. So that's the first thing. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to set up a trade route between the moon, Luna here, and the Earth, right? So we can see here that the Earth has a surplus of food, water... And consumer goods and they are in need of raw materials and rare resources and if we look at the moon they are in need of water oh sorry yeah water food and machinery and they have a surplus of raw materials and rare goods nice um, and as you see as we as we begin to deliver, I'll, sh I'll show you this in a bit. But the first thing we want to do is set up that trade route. Uh, so add route, add stop, earth, add stop. And you can see you can set up a uh, multi-stop so they will go around and we'll do that later. For now, it's just going to be a direct back and forth route we're going to set up. Okay, so that's our route. Then we need a few ships to actually travel our, um, our new trade route here. Oh, yeah, okay, I need to lease... Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Ha! We need to buy a gate. So this is a spaceport that's orbiting at the North Pole of Earth. And uh, we need to lease a gateway. We can see here it costs 13000 to lease it, and then there will be a leasing cost that is 1500 and a bit each month. So we'll definitely lease one of those, and we will probably have to lease a gate over here as well. We can see this is a smaller one. This is a class 7. And I think this was a class 8. So they're both fairly big starports. So now we should be able to go in and purchase a ship. Yes, indeed we can. So there are different ships available. And picking the right one really depends on what you're trying to do. We can see here, these are all like reusable ships. And we can see the price here. This one is pretty expensive. Uh, uh, 40, 41, this one is very, very expensive, but it also has a lot of cargo. We can see the speed here, how quickly it's traveling, turnaround days, I think that's how long it's going to stay at the planet before it's going to, uh, uh, to to launch again, how long it takes to fill the ships, so it takes the same time to load and unload these two ships, they're the same speed, this one has a larger cargo bay, but it is way more expensive, so... Price per ton is a lot better for these ones. And we can see the fuel economy here. And if they were able to jump to other star systems, we can see how much fuel that would cost. Um, but I think here to start with, we want to set up a series of ships. Um, so let's do that. Let's buy this one. We're going to make sure we're going to launch that as soon as it's ready. And we're going to fill this up with food. And we're going to bring back... What can we have? This? We can have rare resources. Um, and then we want a few just to bring back a little bit. That uh, maybe it's too much actually. Just no, no, five is actually okay. 
Anyway, so we're going to bring back a little bit of um, of raw materials because we're, we're setting up our cargo holds, right? So we're setting up uh, dry climate control cargo holds, which can hold food, consumer goods, rare resources, and refugees. Uh, whereas these dry hoppers can hold raw materials and deuterium crystals. So this is going to be a first ship. We're going to order that. Okay, let's, uh, let's build another one. Um, let's fill one just with this one instead. Liquid storage that can hold water and deuterium fuel. So let's order that. And uh, they also needed machinery. So let's take one that can bring slightly more of this. And then a little bit of machinery. So something like that. And let's order that ship as well. And then I think the final ship. We're going to build the, the final ship here. We still have 100,000 left. So that's good. I should say I'm playing this on easy mode. I tried to play this on normal. I got my ass absolutely handed to me. So we're going to start time, we're going to speed things up here. And we can now see that uh, our ships here is being produced. So they will be 14 days before they're ready to launch. And there's our first spaceship. Oh, and I should say there's a, there's a competing company here. We can slow down time a bit so it doesn't go so quickly. So we now have ships flying back and forth and they will bring, you can see here, this one's coming back. So it brings the, uh, probably the raw materials or something, what was it? I can't remember what they were bringing, I can't remember what was in those cargo holds. But anyway, they're bringing back materials, but you can see here we have spaceships orbiting Earth because they're actually queuing up on the spaceport because there's not enough, um, there's not enough landing pads. So what I think we should do right to start with is actually invest in another spaceport so we can have the ships be more efficient, right? Um, we'll actually probably need that in this other end as well. Okay, let's speed up time and let's begin to, uh, to see the money roll in. So we're making some, uh, some good money and I think it's time that uh, that we begin to look into passengers look at this there's a lot of passengers down here and if we hover over we can see they want to go to f from earth to lunar so let's set up a passenger liner just as in uh, elite let's do a speed and run ships purchase new ship we're gonna keep using these uh, 909s they're pretty fish efficient oh yeah i should remember to say you can buy rockets and rockets, as they say here, are one-time use, but they are extremely cheap. They have a low cargo hold, but they are also extremely cheap and fast. 0 0.05 AU a day, whereas these will only go 0 0.03, so they are a lot faster. And if you take a small rocket, it's 0 0.07. They are extremely quickly, extremely quick, I should say. So these are probably these are good uh, if you want to start a new colony, for instance. Send send those out. They're quick. They're cheap, um, and it's not a huge investment for you, and it's a good way to boost uh to boost the company so we could for instance um we have different types of passenger cabins uh which might sound familiar to you i i'm not exactly sure it says here they can hold any type of passengers even in the uh, co uh the, the, the smaller class one i mean business any type I, I i'm not really sure that they don't really have a cost it seems so so far i've just been going with first class i expect again Games early access is not a complete game. This is probably something that's going to, to be changed uh, later on. We're just going to launch a rocket right away. Going to order it. And now we can see that it being ordered here. It's going to be built very, very quickly. Has the rocket already gone? No, oh, okay, it's loading. Ah, okay, it's still loading on Earth. There it is. That's our rocket. And that's a successful rocket launch. There you go. Okay, there are still a lot of passengers here, so I think I'll set up a second ship as a passenger liner. There might be people in the future who want to go back, so let's just go... But for now, we want to bring back more of these, I think. Launch immediately and order that. Okay, so that's going to be built now. So while we're doing this, see we've got some negative ones from time to time. I think that's either when they're flying empty and then we pay for the fuel. Um, I, at least that's how I understand it. That we have, we're paying for fuel whenever they land. And if if the fuel cost is higher than the value of the cargo we're selling, well then 
we had a loss, right? Okay, I think we are about ready to begin to do our first expansion to Mars. So let's set up a new route. And let's add Mars. And let's add Earth as a stop. So we have a trade route to Mars. We now go over here and we can filter this. So we can only see uh, the ships that are going to Mars. Let's have a look at what Mars needs. Again, there's a demand for food, water and machinery. Not really a huge supply of a lot. So for now, I'm just going to go accept that we're going to go back. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we should just send a few rockets out there because if we're not bringing anything back, that's a long trip where we're flying, where we're not carrying anything valuable at all. So until we get the colony started, I think that we're going to build a bunch of rockets. Did we do anything? No. We can... Actually, we should actually purchase that starport. You can see, this is a good uh, good point. This is currently a class 3 or a size 3 starport. Just pause the game here. So we go and look at our ships. If you want to send a ship like this one, for instance, the, the Space Boss D500, we can't because it's a um, it needs a, a size 4 spaceport to land or bigger. This one needs a, a size 6 to land, and this one only needs a size 3. So what we could do if we wanted that is we could upgrade the spaceport, which would cost us some money. For now, that's not really needed. Since I think I want to keep using uh, rockets for, uh, for a bit, especially on machinery parts, because they are in so high demand on, uh, on Mars at the moment. So um, I think we should build some more rockets to send out there with machinery. Okay, so while our fleet of rockets is uh, heading towards Mars, I think it's a good time to go up here. There's a lot of interesting stuff where you can go and see statistics on your company. And you can, especially this one I find very interesting, where you can go in and directly compare to, uh, to the other companies. You can see the other company is making a lot more money. But the expenses are also way, way higher. Um, so you can see here, they are currently actually... It seems like they're running at a loss at the moment. Where we actually are making a little bit of a profit. So even though they have a lot more income, we are making a lot more money. Ooh, a new spaceship is available. Let's go have a look at that. Company net worth. About the same. They just overtake me a little bit. But again, when you're using rockets, you are throwing away your spaceships. And I have a lot of rockets in space right now. So... Let's go and look at that new spaceship that just arrived. I think these are just being developed um, as time goes on. So these are actually pretty good. They are very expensive. 100 and, uh, <laughs> 163,000 credits. But look at this. They are fuel efficiency. They are way better fuel efficiency. And they are faster. So, and they have more cargo than anything else we've seen previously. So, these could definitely be a good candidate to start out on, uh, on a Mars trip, I think, because they are so quick and because the fuel efficiency is good. Especially, the fuel usage empty is so important when you're doing Mars runs, I think, because you're going to, in the beginning at least, fly back empty. So, having that empty fuel low... Is, uh, is very important. So you don't use a lot of fuel on your trip back where you are not going to make as much money. Um, but again, it's a huge investment for us buying such an expensive ship. But I think we're going to set this up just so we begin to have at least some kind of a present um, on Mars. There we go. And then maybe also bring a little bit of machinery. Something like that. So let's build that and let's begin to just send that off, all of that. Oh, I, for I forgot. I can't land it because the starport is too small. Uh, damn it. Can we upgrade it? We can. Okay, let's upgrade this starport. And now my reputation, of course, the, the planet, the, the government on Mars likes me more when I upgrade their starport. Because an uh, independent company just suddenly comes a lot of money at you. So let's upgrade this again and upgrade this again. And as we upgrade, we get some of these um, starports for free. 
Okay, so the game has progressed quite a bit, and I was wondering why my moon routes were suddenly not making as much money as they used to. But look at this. Things haven't really changed a lot on Earth. They still have lots of food, lots of water, and consumer goods. But, uh, they still need war materials and rare resources. But look at this. The moon now has, it has a surplus of food and water. So we don't need to bring that anymore, which might be why I'm not making as much money. Um, but they still need a lot of consumer goods and they need a lot of machinery. And I would expect there might be a lot of tourists here who want to go to the moon. Oh. And also, huh, I didn't even notice that. We actually have two new planets who've opened up Mercury in here. And Ganymedes out here somewhere. There it is. Have now also opened up. So we need to take care of that. But the first thing I think we want to do is to, to get our moon route up and running again. So let's go in and have a look at the ship that we have currently flying to the moon. And there we go. I think I finally managed to set up a route that makes some money here. And we're going to uh, to the moon. Look at that. 9,000, 7,000. Now we're making money again. That's good. And I have all my rockets have also arrived at Mercury. And we see they're still sending rocking out to Ganymedes. I think I want to try and expand my Mars route for now. Because I still only have the one ship. I really spent a lot of time figuring out what happened to the moon. Um... So I think upgrading the Mars route right now would be a good idea. Let's just see what uh, what the status is with Mars and so still food, water, machinery. Not a lot of really happened out here. It's pretty much the same situation as before. So maybe going with a standard food, water, machinery kind of rocket again. Uh, do we have money for this? Can we clone it? Yes, we actually do have money for it. So let's build another one. And we can still make do with the one port out here. That should be plenty. But look at that. After I stopped trading. Let's pause this for a bit. After I stopped trading my food and water. Now the supply of the demand have gone up again. Machinery here. So uh, let's go back and look at our, our ships here. Let's look at the... Uh, uh, there we go. So right now I am shipping machinery in bulk. As much as I possibly can. This is... Uh, this is worth it. Okay, so machinery is getting close to that 4,000 mark. So I need to begin to prepare for um, for something else to take over. So let's go and have a look at again at the passengers. Oh my god, lots of passengers who want to go to Mars, apparently. Okay, so there's money in transferring passengers to Mars. Maybe we should look into that. And also, so there are two things I want to do right now. I want to build passenger liners to Mars and I want to build food and water could we get one more of these we actually have the money so let's build one that just ferries food and water to the moon launch immediately order that and then let's build passenger liners to Mars Ooh, so I was actually just in the process of setting up my trade route out to uh, to Mercury and buying some ships for that. I was wondering if I should buy big, small ships. Um, and just as I was about to buy the ships, a new ship was announced. Look at that. This, no, not that one, that one. This is an amazing ship. It's very expensive, as you can see here. But look at that. Look at the fuel efficiency. These are very efficient and they are big. It's a very big ship. So, these are, I think, at least for, for as far as I've played into the game, one of the most efficient ships because they're so fuel efficient. I mean, the ones I'm using now has a, it has almost the same fuel efficiency full as it has, as these one has empty. So these are very, very effective ships and they're going to make, they're going to do good things to your profit. So we're going to set up. Just a basic colonizing starter ship, food, water, and machinery. Launch immediately, Earth, Mercury. Do we have the money? Yes, we do. Order the ship. It takes forever. But my next focus is, if we go in here to the report. Because see, they, they purchased one as well. Just now. Um, and we go company net worth. Here we go. You can see here, I just overtook them. Um, this was the time when I just couldn't get that Luna trading, trading to uh, Luna. Wow. 
get that moon trading to work. So I was pretty much just stuck. Um, but then I got it to work and they were really growing. Um, so I think that now my focus will be to maybe not increase my the company value for a bit because I want to begin to to uh, trade out some of the older ships, with the older models of ship with this new efficient type of spaceship. And th because they're so big, they should allow me to cut back on the number of ports that I have as well as it should allow me um, to spend less money on fuel uh, per ton transported. Okay. Let's just have a quick look here. Look at that. There is a lot of people who want to go to Mars. So I think the first thing we want to do is to build a passenger liner to Mars. Actually, because there are so many people. Um, so there's a lot of profit to be made there. Okay, so we're beginning to get into a bit of a problem here. Because I have not been paying attention to Ganymedes enough. Uh, and that means that you can now see they are now completely out of water. Which people don't like. So what I've done is I've built rockets that is currently on their way. Uh, center camera. And they're actually almost there it seems. And I've also built a general ship that's got a ferry water. But that's currently still being built. We definitely need to focus more on Ganymedes. I'm going to probably actually clone this. Get another one out there. So we have two. And hope that that is enough. But anyway, as I was saying, as you can see, as the number of trade routes uh, increase, the game becomes more and more complicated. And we have not even left the solar system yet. I'm not sure if there are actually ships in the game. I've not been, uh, I've not gotten to a point where they have been uh, developed yet. Um. Oh wow. But as you can see, when we go into the I go to the star map. Come on. There we go. There are other stars. And around those other stars, there are more planets where colonies can also be built. But of course, it requires that we actually have um, some rockets that can go here, which we do not have at the moment. But anyway, I think I'm gonna gonna leave it here. Um, it's a really, really fun game. And uh, it's available on Steam. I think you can get it in early access at the moment. Um, if you like the game, give the video a, a like down below. Go and, uh, and check it out if you want. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section if you want more of this. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.